Hi guys, Daniel here and welcome back to another of my tech how-to videos. Uh, about four years ago I made a video on how to transfer data between your PC and an external hard drive. Uh, this is a sort of an updated one, it was a while ago, things have moved on a bit. This is a 2.5 inch SSD, it will work with a normal 2.5 inch hard drive. Um, what we're going to be using it, what we're going to be using to do this is the Sabrinth USB 3.0 adapter. You know it's USB 3.0 because it has the blue um, colour on it. There we go, that's high speed. Um, this adapter also provides power, we'll check that out in a minute. Um, you can use this adapter with an SSD or a mechanical hard drive as they know. 2.5 inch this size, not the real big one. If you did have a big hard drive of 3.5 inch, you need a sort of a docking station which is powered and they typically just slot in like that, but it will need to be powered. These smaller 2.5 inch drives don't require as much power, otherwise you'll run into issues when, when trying to plug it into Windows. Now, why would you want to do this? Well, chances are if you come on this video, you probably want to tra transfer data from an old hard drive to an SSD, or you just want to plug it into your computer and, and back things up. This is what I want to use it for. So hopefully this guide is helpful to you. So we'll crack on. So as I say, you will need a USB adapter. Something like this would work. Uh, this is about eight pounds. It's good to have this kind of thing because if in the future you ever need to transfer data or change a drive, this is the kind of thing you'd want to do to make your life easier. Um, you might not have lots of free slots SATA ports on the PC, so this just makes it a bit easier. Um, I'm using a 240 gig Kingston drive basically. Um, so on these drives you've got, you got your data and your power and same there. They're keyed which means they have a horizontal part and a vertical bit just like a key and they do go in a certain way so it's, it's hard to mess it up just take your time. So we need to basically plug this in nice and easy plugs in there like that I'll try and get this in with one hand whilst filming so as you can see, so push that in there like that. You just want a tight fit basically. So that is plugged in there, you can see. I'll right, push that down a bit more, there we go. And the next part, all we need to do is find a USB, USB free port. Ideally you want to be using the USB free ports on the PC that have the uh, uh, blue on them because that's the highest speed. These ones on the front don't, but that's no big deal. They are plugged into a USB 3 on the motherboard, header on the motherboard. So that's plugged in. Okay, uh, this particular adapter is quite a nice one. It's got a, a blue light telling you that it's powered up. So we went into Windows. We're running Windows now. I've got my standard NVMe drive SSD, which is already in the system. This one isn't showing up. So what we need to do so we need to initialize the disk because it's an SSD. So what we do is type disk management. And I'm saying disk disk management on the here, or you can just right click the start menu if you, icon if you're running Windows 11, and go to disk management. Now this will take a couple of seconds to load, and um, basically it's loading all your drives up. It's told me I've got to initialize something. This is the drive here. It is 240 gig, but it's showing up as 223. It never is never is 100 percent Let's right click this. Let's click this here. Go initialize disk. Okay. So that will take a few seconds to do that. So basically, if you plug your SSD into your computer and you've not used it before, and you, it doesn't appear on the this PC or the file explorer with the rest of your drive, this is what you need to do. Okay, so it's been initialized, and that says it's unallocated. So we right-click this, go new simple volume. This is just a very simple um, way of doing it. I literally want to use this for backups, so no big deal. Uh, we sign that drive letter E. Um, we can call it something as well. So I'll just call it SSD. Form quick format next. And that's just going to do things for a few seconds. 
it shouldn't take too long and it's, it's doing something because it's flashing that's quite a nice feature so that also acts as the power to it so it's the power's on from the USB and it's also doing stuff so apparently that is now done and it's now uh, ready and here we have our SSD I create a folder in it and I can unplug it and it'll go plug it back in and there it is so that is how you connect a SSD to your PC this will work with Mac as well this is the easiest option of doing it and um, as I said earlier the reason why you'd want to do this is to use it for backups I'd, as I say I want you to just use it for backups or if you want to if you've got a drive in your computer that's failing or you've got a hard drive in your laptop you can buy this 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 whole thing here with the USB cable and the drive um, you can use something like Acronis True Image to clone it on the front it actually I've used that in the past it says it here it says it's including Acronis True Image cloning software so what that would do is you would run it it would clone everything from one drive to the next but when you are doing that make sure you just double check what drive you're selecting once the cloning process is finished you can unplug the old hard drive or say the old SSD from your computer pop this one in and you're done uh, thanks for watching guys if you've got any questions write them in the comments thanks very much